So just disregard the hair. Typically this would be something I'd put on my workout page, but I honestly think this is both something that belongs in the fitness and also the page where we're talking about sales, entrepreneurship, motivation, goals, daily habits, discipline. Because without these things, you don't have the traits of being a salesperson, in my opinion, right? A productive salesperson. Maybe you work at Macy's or, or Kohl's or some one of these other retail stores. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but a lot of the times you're not probably pulling in what it may be like for higher price items like cars and boats and planes and houses, okay? So I'm gonna go into this real quick. So <clears throat> I just finished up a half marathon. Um, I've done them before, I've done more intense ones than this. But I signed up for this thing I think about two and a half weeks ago, uh, two and a half to three weeks ago before I went to Greece. And I really didn't train for this thing at all. I'm not gonna say I was in bad shape, so I wanna give myself you know, some sort of credit to be staying in good shape prior to running this. But the idea is the fact that some of these things are necessary. A lot of the things I do are completely unnecessary in my life. A lot of people who are good in sales or good in business, you'll find some things just don't make sense. Why would you go hit the concrete for an hour and a half, which was about my time, um, 13 miles, 13.1 miles, go run in the blistering heat on your Saturday morning, exhausted? Why would you go do that? Just ask yourself, why would someone go do that? And I'm honestly asking you guys that because I don't really know the answer. Um, my hair looks fucked. It really just looks fucked up. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I really don't know the answer to it. But all I can say is, for some reason, the people who do those things, if they translate it to business, if they look for something they like to do in business, they always flourish and prosper. That intensity is carried over straight into business. They'll stay a little bit longer at work. They'll make another phone call. They'll do something that makes them uncomfortable because they want to push that boundary every single day and just see what's going to make them feel uncomfortable. And every single day, if you push a little bit, an inch, an inch after an inch after an inch, eventually you're just not uncomfortable anymore. You're just comfortable. And then you got to find a new threshold. Once you find the new, the new threshold, then that's the point where you got to keep on building and building and finding new things, extreme things. Like now, have marathons, no more. That's a marathon, and after that it's gonna be an ultra, and after that it's gonna be you know, a 100 mile, 24 hour run. You gotta keep finding that boundary, that threshold to break through every single time.